What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Hey, what's going on, y'all? Back to give another brilliant summarization, if that's even a word. About to drop some knowledge. About to talk about some uh, controversial things. But, you know, you know how we do over here. That's what it is, I mean. If you don't like it, don't listen. But more than likely, you'll like it because it's the truth. Today, I want to talk about the, the way United Airlines handled, uh, handled old, uh, what's his name, the Asian doctor, which there's a byline on his story. But uh, but anyway, we'll get to the point of that. What happened, if, for those of those who, who are stupid or, or this guy with a coma, Airlines always book, overbook. So from what I'm guessing is they, like I said, they always overbook. Every flight seems like they're always overbooked. I've flown before, but this situation never happened to me. But what happened was they overbooked and they had to get a taxi squad to the next destination. So what they did was they first went, they, you know they didn't hit no first class people, but uh, you know they, they went to the, to the, I don't know, I forget the economy or Maybe, yeah, they started back there and worked their way up, probably. They asked people, who wanted to, you know, who wants to get off the plane? And nobody volunteered. That's for volunteers. So nobody got off the plane, yada, yada, you know how that goes. Then all of a sudden, they said, well, since you don't get off the plane, we're going to pick, you know, basically draw straws, you know. If you, you, get, the, if you, don't, if you get the short straw, you're off the plane. So people were, they basically did that way. And guess what happened? The good doctor, he drew the short straw. He's one of the guys that drew the short straws. Now the other people weren't complaining and got off the plane. The doctor refused to get off the plane, which one is an automatic FAA fine. It's a federal offense, punishable by 25 grand. And I don't know how many days in jail. Number two, he repeatedly refused, which by the way, if you look up the FAA rules, that's a 25 grand a piece for each denial. So he said no, this, that, and the third, so they said they're gonna have to escort him out. Well, he refused to leave. Now, well, the way they made him leave was they grabbed him and pulled him out. How are you supposed to get him to go? Now, my fault, my, my, my problem with all this is Due to social media and all you libertards, and United was, I mean, United did, is doing all the wrong things. They're, no, they're doing all the right things for the wrong reason. I'll put it like that. They're doing what Fox News did with Bill O'Reilly, and I'll talk about that in another video. They're pulling, like, the, the CEO said he's done. They apologized, this, that, and the third. Well, first of all, at first, when they get, whenever they escorted him off, they offered this dude triple his ticket. I would have took that in a heartbeat. But uh, and back to the back to the other point. United offered, you know, United did all the wrong things for a good reason. Like I said, Munoz is stepping down as CEO. What happened was the reason they did all this was cause advertising dollars. Let me let you people understand this. They didn't do this because they felt bad for old, you know, the only Asian dude that didn't know karate. Yes, he was bloodied up, and he was like, who killed me? He also supposedly has a past where he gave pills in exchange for heterosexual sex. Look this up. I'm just saying that was the rumor, and that was the post. And everyone's going to say, well, what's that got to do with anything? What's that going to You want to bring up he's a doctor? But I can't bring up his past, what he did? That's what he did as a doctor. But anyway, back to the lecture at Ann. He was in the wrong point blank period. People said, did he deserve that treatment? If you're being an asshole, I believe you treat an asshole like they want to be treated. If he got up there kept saying no, like, sir, you got to go. No, sir, you got to go. Look, he can be fun. He's in the wrong, number one. When he said no, regardless of what you people say, he was in the wrong. That's a 25 grand fine from the FAA. And the whatever jail time that is, he basically caused a disturbance on the plane. Which, you, if you know, if you know it, the feds, every once in a while they get a hair up their ass and they'll put you off the plane. And depending on how much your asshole you act, 
and they may nail you for that. So he got away. He basically got away with doing a lot of shit on on your time. He came out here with all bloody. He looked at me. You kill me. Uh, yeah, that's what you get for being an asshole. I mean, come on, man. You know, I picked the only Asian dude that didn't know karate. And then people say, well, I'm being sensitive. I'm not being sensitive when you can't take accountability because you said no. I can see if the dude was in a wheelchair, if the dude was handicapable, or dude was blind, deaf, or something like that. Yeah, give this dude a little bit of slack because he had, you know, he got, you know, he got problems. But no, dude said no, and this is what it is. I can see, like I said, I can see if he had issues, but the dude didn't have no issues. The only issue he had, he was stupid. And to see that, and that's a lack of accountability in America nowadays. You can't be accountable for anything. You know why? Because we got these, you got these goddamn libertards. If you, if you were, if you're responsible for something, well, there's a reason to it. They, they want, they, they, they want to tell you shaming is wrong, but then they want to shame you. But as far as what United did, I see no problem with what United did. If I was one of the security guards, I'd be like, look, dude, you got to let go or we're pulling you off. The dude didn't want to let go, we pulled you off. You know, he said they're, they're sitting crying wine like a fish out of water, but hey, at the end of the proverbial day, buddy, take accountability for what you've done. It ain't like there was the, the, the Star Wars, you know, the Death Star and, you know, Darth Vader was that scoring them off. He had a choice and he had an opportunity. The problem is in America, you become so passive that you're not used to seeing stuff like that. Dude said no, he got handled accordingly. That's how I feel. That's how a majority of people feel. A lot of you just won't say it because it's not the PC thing to say. And poor United, they did the right thing, but now they're doing the wrong thing for the wrong reason. They're, 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 million years have gone. What it was, they lost, what, a 20, what, 250 million that next day or two days. And then the advertisers, some of them started, you know, questioning what they did, and then that's what happened. They did it over advertising. They didn't do it because of the doctor. They did over advertising dollars. So the doctor got what he deserved. He got some of his own medicine, if you will. So I'm out of here. I got things to do. So peace and keep up with the news, people.